okay so right now uh, we were testing the kill points system only on that's a uh, standalone mode here you see if I call it now you see here skill points are added two more actions skill points are added so now see when I fill and level up I got two skill points and one level up so it's working but this is on standalone mode so if I do this as a client let me just do client server mode in the editor window this is server left one is server right one is client now here let's test from the client you see I collect I still see So it is working as the oh no this is server left side is server but if i try from the client see see that's not appearing okay so the skill point changes are not working on the client so replication is basically not working so this is something we uh, actually we didn't forget we just First, wanted to make it work with the single player standalone mode. Now, let's open our Visual Studio project. Open it. So, our character has this few base actor, actor attributes, and this is the base actor attribute setup file. And if I go to the here, you can see uh, this uh, XP points and character levels and skill points. These are the things that I need to uh, uh, see, need to access from client as well in order to properly replicate the level up and skill point system. So here we have already created the required functions, but we forgot about this part in UBS actor attributes get lifetime replicated props so here we need to do the same thing for the well not the defense yeah I'll do that too XP points and character level and skill points as well missing here okay so do that save everything come back to the project and compile all good now let's test again again the right the smaller one is the client let's go here collect now you see the window appear and leveling up is working okay great so it's now replicating properly and similarly for the server let me test once again to make sure yeah they can level up independently okay so right that's pretty much all for the replication part another issue that i'm having is if I play on client mode, let's say just one instance of the game and play in the editor, so it's easier. So here, now, if I let me just get hit, see, I'm not getting any receiving any damage. But here, if I do the same, either standalone or server, I do get damage let me show okay. so the reason is if you remember I moved I implemented a hitbox based damage system okay. 
me show you so here this is hitbox overlap and here i activate this react heavy or react light gameplay abilities and also damage is done here but the problem with this approach is this is not working on clients so uh what i had to do is here let me just disconnect this part this is where the damage if uh, effects and stand effects is applied so i'll show you how to fix the damage so basically here this is react light react heavy and this is the sword pp sword if i go to abilities and sword react ga react sword light let me open this and here as the draw applied gameplay effects i assign damage ge damage sword and then here if it is not blocked or not evading that means down here this is where i trigger blood as well i'll do this apply gameplay effects now what this function does is here this applied gameplay effects apply all of those things to the owner so this is in the parent ability here if i do that it will apply whatever the ability i assign to this applied gameplay ability array now i'll do the same this is uh, react sword light me open the react sword heavy as well here this is where the damage happens here also like gameplay effects the effects add damage sword now here if i go back to the client mode Let me get hit without blocking. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, see? Now I get damage. So that problem is also fixed. And this shouldn't be a problem in the standalone mode as well. Let's see. Just to make sure. see and it's starting to get damaged yeah that's okay okay that's great and those are the two problems i wanted to solve and also another issue i noticed after the upgrading this is i have already solved but i did it off screen so here this one this always returns true uh, return, uh, this part always returns false for some reason oh wait that this might be a problem let's see so the what i saw was the character's enemy's fruit was sliding yeah this is the issue so what i did to work around that is simply Ignoring this and so uh, fix the issue. But uh, I'm not sure if that part is essential for here. Anyway, now the footwork is there. So that's better than sliding. Okay, so thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download. Here in the Patreon page, link would be in the description below. And see you in the next episode. Goodbye.